Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The latest updates on the Iraqi Dinar, IQD, and Vietnamese Dong, VND, continue to fuel excitement within the currency communities, with new information sparking a sense of anticipation and speculation. A recent article shared by G Militia Man highlights a key development, all the currencies that Iraq will be doing business with are now in compliance with international standards and traded on forex markets. This is a critical step in aligning Iraq with global financial systems, and many experts believe it signals a monumental shift in the country's economic trajectory. With this compliance now in place, G Militia Man suggested that it's time for everyone to sit back, relax, and watch events unfold. The progress Iraq has made in bringing its currency and banking operations in line with international standards is truly remarkable, and while there's plenty of excitement, maintaining a sense of groundedness is crucial as the final steps are taken. As G Militia Man points out, at this stage of the game, there's no stopping the momentum that has been built. This sense of optimism is echoed by Intel guru Pimpy, who referred to an article that recently came out discussing the two conditions required for a potential revaluation. According to Pimpy, a key advisor to the Iraqi Prime Minister, Al Sudani, ruled out the removal of three zeros from the currency, a move that was initially feared by many. Pimpy shared that his fingers were crossed, hoping the zeros wouldn't be removed, as their presence is essential to maintaining the current structure of the currency. With this fear now alleviated, the first major step toward a favorable outcome has been achieved. Pimpy went on to express that the next help is for a change in the exchange rate while the zeros remain intact. While he stops short of guaranteeing that this change will happen, he is confident that if revaluation were ever going to occur in the way investors have hoped, now would be the time for it to happen. Further adding to the positive outlook, another article shared by a government advisor confirmed that talks between the Central Bank of Iraq and the U.S. Federal Reserve have yielded advanced results. These discussions have paved the way for a renewed understanding between the two entities which will enable the Iraqi Monetary Authority to restore an internal banking market. This is a crucial development, as a functioning internal banking system is key to stabilizing the dinar and ensuring that Iraq can effectively engage with international financial institutions. The advisor indicated that the results of these discussions are consistent with international guidelines and that they will allow for the establishment of a clear and precise path for banking operations between Iraq and other global markets. Intel Guru Mai, speaking via PDK, also shared his excitement over the recent news, describing it as over the top good. He noted that there has been a lot of chatter and speculation about the possibility of significant developments occurring soon, with many in the community looking toward the next few days for potential movement. While the exact timing remains uncertain, may I express confidence that if even half of the rumors circulating are true, then the dinar community is in great shape. He shared that he's hearing from multiple sources that things are well underway and that the community should soon be seeing dollars materialize. However, he also cautioned that despite the positive reports, he has not yet been able to verify any claims that people have received physical dollars. This uncertainty is compounded by the possibility that many key individuals may be under non-disclosure agreements NDAs making it difficult to confirm any specific details. In light of this, may I advise the community to stay calm, remain patient, and wait for more concrete information to emerge. On a slightly more cautious note, Gandhi INR raised concerns about the possibility that Iraq might take action to reduce the circulation of the dinar to a more manageable size. This could, in theory, help to increase the currency's value by reducing supply and controlling inflation. However, the big question remains, 
will outside investors be included in this adjustment? For those holding dinars outside of Iraq, this is a critical concern. Gandhi advised people to update their passports in preparation for potential travel to countries like Jordan, Turkey, or Egypt, where Iraq has recently established new banking operations. These countries could serve as key hubs for currency exchange as Iraq continues to reform its financial system. Intel guru Frank 26 commented on the two conditions necessary for achieving the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Like many others, Frank pointed to the recent statement by Al Sudani's advisor, who ruled out removing three zeros from the currency. He suggested that this kind of news might be part of a broader strategy involving diversion tactics or sleight of hand. Frank drew parallels between this situation and similar monetary reforms that have occurred in China and Kuwait, where government officials used strategic misinformation to manage public speculation and expectations. According to Frank, this tactic may be designed to keep speculators at bay while the real work of monetary reform takes place behind the scenes. Malant provided another critical update, noting that the Central Bank of Iraq is nearing the completion of its transition from an electronic platform to a direct correspondent banking mechanism. According to Malant, as of the end of 2024, 95% of this process will be complete, leaving only about 5% to go. This signals that Iraq's monetary reform is rapidly approaching its final stages, further bolstering the optimism surrounding the dinar's potential revaluation. The Iraqi dinar and Vietnamese dong communities are buzzing with anticipation as these currencies inch closer to potential revaluation. While the exact timing remains unclear, the ongoing discussions between Iraq and international financial institutions, the commitment to international compliance, and the gradual progress in monetary reforms are all seen as positive signs that Iraq's currency is on the verge of significant change. Investors are encouraged to stay informed, remain patient, and watch for verified updates as Iraq continues to stabilize its economy and engage more fully with global markets.